what should an ideal residency look like what what should you be doing uh, is your focus more on academics or more on reporting cases or or a mixture of both okay ma'am ma uh, again it is it it goes in both ways like in in our in my institute subdivision hospital so we had regular classes we had regular case discussions so yeah emphasis hmm. is there on academics but majoritily you work you learn that is the core of medicine mm-hmm. that is why it is called the housebandship that you stay there you see the patients you learn you do an ultrasound then you think that okay whether this patient needs a ct then you go you get a ct you call your clinician clinician friends you call surgery people you call medicine people get that follow up and then you come to a conclusion so when yeah working yeah. i think uh, working is the and i'm actually government set up in india when it is like nowhere else in the world you get so much exposure you get so much hands on and ma'am i think that that experience has led to us uh, being ahead than so many other people in so many different countries about the clinical core the clinical skills so ma'am i think that yeah academics is important and it starts ma'am actually in if you pass out from a good institute ma'am actually ma'am like aims or subdivision you know, something like that obviously ma'am you get mm-hmm. you get close with the consultants you take uh, take regular discussions but ma'am one thing i have understood in my residency and in my use itself that a uh, best way of learning is teaching if you can mm-hmm. simplify some topic for someone that only means that you have understood that topic if you feel that okay i can it is very complex i cannot explain this to you it means that you have not got the concept so yeah regular discussion with your friends your juniors and your seniors all these things will lead out you getting a good concept for yourself ma'am mm-hmm.